Even people who work on amazing teams and love what they do can sometimes succumb to excessive stress, or what is sometimes referred to as burnout. Burnout is about exhaustion, emotional, mental, and physical, created by high stress and long hours. As you look at your team, ask yourself whether you've seen any of these signs of approaching burnout. Do people claim they feel little control over their work or that their work is not being recognized? Are you hearing more about workloads and work pressure? How about employees who seem to be abnormally tired all the time? Maybe you've sensed increased procrastination or complaining. In the presence of these signs, if you don't act now and burnout sets in, the negative effects will spill over into all areas of your employee's work life and eventually their home life too. That doesn't have to happen. Use these tips to ensure your employees remain challenged but free from burnout. The first tip is simple, but it's the most important. Start talking. Ask your team members how they're feeling. Probe and pay attention to what they say and how they act. Don't assume they are okay or about to fall apart. Know the answer by having genuine conversations regularly. Next, consider ways to slow down. You can either slow down a little now in terms of projects and deadlines or risk being forced to slow down a lot later when the team hits its breaking point. Honestly, rethink the overall set of goals and projects the team is pursuing. When you really prioritize them, is there one or two that can be put on the back burner? If burnout is approaching, any little bit of breathing room you can create might make all the difference. Finally, be sure to provide needed support and resources. From a support perspective, this means helping you and the team stay connected. Use quick huddles, voicemails, and emails to share good news and keep people in the loop. It also means remembering to tell everyone thank you and that their work matters. Sometimes a few genuine and kind words helps to keep people calm and focused. Now, in terms of resources, ask yourself if you can find ways to make them laugh or become more efficient. Anything you do on either front is a huge hedge against burnout. Your job as the leader of the team is to push everyone to new heights, but you have to do it without causing unnecessary burnout. Follow these tips and give your team the boost it needs. If you'd like to go deeper, I encourage you to check out my course, Managing Teams, here on lynda.com.